and the Kings preparing for this road contest as they get off the bus. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. And a look at the status here of both teams, injured players, and who will not be in the lineup. And with both teams at less than full strength, we'll have to see which side is able to remain more effective. Let's take a look at our starters for Sacramento. Barnes is in the front court along with Murray. Ellis is out there with De'Aaron Fox. And it's Sabonis in at center. And for New York, they've got OG Ananobi. Hartenstein is out there with Hart. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's DiVincenzo in at the two guard. Injuries certainly playing a factor for both teams, Greg, in this matchup. And Kevin, it's an unfortunate part of the game, but unavoidable every team deals with the injuries throughout the course of a season so there's no time now for excuses Here we go. it'll be the Knicks off the tip Brunson against Fox Ananobi with it and there's the foul it's on Keegan Murray. That's his first foul. Here's Hartenstein. Passes it to DiVincenzo. Shot clock at six. Back to Ananobi. New York moving the ball around. Here's Hart. That falls. Nice speed that time from Brunson. And he can hurt you from there. The D must be up on Hart when he has the ball. Fox against Brunson. Murray a screen on Brunson. Here's Fox. Good on the shot. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do. And right at the top is guard that guy. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. DiVincenzo with it, picked up by Ellis. Ellis against DiVincenzo. Down low, here's Brunson. And that one drops. What a pocket from Brunson, that's tough. And so Fox will bring it up for Sacramento. It's a three-point game. Spins. It's over Brunson, can't convert off the spin. Well, Mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Now here's DiVincenzo. Now here's Hart. And Brunson, the basket on the assist by Hart. Well, off the pass from Hart, he's made major strides playmaking-wise, turning himself into a more complete offensive player. You spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? When the Knicks are winning, Kevin, there is no place you'd rather be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that media pressure is for real. Throw good, Fox. So Brent, after a 16-year playoff drought, the Kings made the cut before losing a very gritty first-round matchup. What an unbelievable series, Kevin, that was against the Golden State Warriors. We've taken them to seven. Ultimately, they came up short, but they've got a ton to be excited about moving forward. And so he makes both from the line. When you look at this Knicks roster, Greg, this is a team that feels it can make a deep playoff push. And they have their stars. They have tons of young talent. Developing that talent and adding a piece or two should get them where they want to go. Barnes finds Fox. Back to Barnes. 
for three. Murray, and the three ball is good. It's all knotted up. And that's what Murray does best. Spot up and knock it down. Brunson scanning the floor. Pass to Hartenstein. Over Sabonis. And there's another one for the Knicks. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react. And that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Now, here's Fox. He kicks it to Murray. Six to shoot. Ellis with the screen for Barnes. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. He creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now, here's Fox. To the middle. There's Sabonis. And slam dunk by Sabonis. And Sabonis getting his entire body up that time for the jam. The Knicks with the lead. Pass to Hart. On the wing, Ananobi. The pass to DiVincenzo. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And it's Fox with the ball for the King. The dish to Murray. Barnes outside. Murray a screen on Ananobi. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to go on Josh Hart. Continues to try to work to find some consistency, does Harrison Barnes. And right there, knocking at the defense's door. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. And, guys, they've done a great job feeding their bigs inside. They are just punishing the opposition in the paint. Well, not only that, but you love how unselfish they've been to start this game. That's going to get all the guys in a great flow and feeling good. So moving that ball around and scoring off assists, it's a nice way to play. Brunson, no good. Kings have gone 3 of 5, shooting the ball so far. Passes to Ellis. He dishes it to Fox. Hit the floater, and it's good for two. Fox has got six. That's a pretty shot from Fox. The Aaron just so quick. Brunson against Fox. Brunson the pass to want an open. To Hart, and here is DiVincenzo. Brunson up top, guarded by Fox, and the shot goes in. And it's six points here for Jalen Brunson. You don't need size to score in the lane, it's certainly helpful, but you can see Brunson there with that little teardrop. He's gonna stop that. Now, here's Fox, he has six tipped away. Now, Hart, pass to Brunson. To the paint, here's Hartenstein. And here we look at Hartenstein. He can do a little bit of everything for you. Hartenstein, probably the biggest skill he has that I see often is the playmaking ability. So he'll rebound and be physical, but all of a sudden, sneak a pass in there with a great assist. And last season, Greg, the Kings clinched their first Pacific Division title in 20 years. And they repeated as division champs back in 02 and 03, something they're hoping to achieve again this year as the Kings build off of their breakout season. Now, here's Fox. Over Brunson. From the top of the key, he buries it. He's got eight. Fox pretty good when he decides to use his speed. He's going to get the defense on their heels. Fox against Brunson. Now the pass to Hartenstein. And that one is hammered home. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. 
for Sacramento. They've gone five of eight from the field, shooting over 62%. Fox kicks to Ellis. Come on, everybody. Let's make some noise for your next break. Pass to Sabonis. Barnes outside. Another three for Sacramento. Pretty reliable from that area on the floor. Harrison Barnes comfortable rising up and shooting from there. Here's Brunson, and again, it's New York. So far, both teams scorching the net. you got to love it. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great. Scoring is coming in bunches, and both of the teams feeling confident right now. Fox finds Sabonis, and slam dunk by Sabonis. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Here's Hartenstein. He's got six. Pass to DiVincenzo. Brunson with a clean look. Trains it from beyond the arc. Brunson's got 11 points. Totally in rhythm right now. The moment Brunson has the ball in his hands, right into that shot. Fox against Brunson. That's good from Fox on the assist by Sabonis. Fox has got it all tied up now for the Kings. New York's gone 2 of 5 from three-point land here in the first quarter. Here's Hart. And here is DiVincenzo. And the ball out of play. The Kings will inbound. Trey Lyles checked in for DeMontis Sabonis. Fox with it. He's got 10. Ellis with the screen for Fox. Ellis the pass to Barnes. Back to Ellis. Launches a three. Rebounded by Hart. And so it's New York with it. Pass to DiVincenzo. And there's the pass to Brunson. Sacramento grabs the miss. Passes it to Fox. And it's tonight. Hart kicks to Brunson. There's the screen to the inside. Hartenstein. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Boy, doesn't Mike Brown, uh, GA, deserve a lot of credit for the Kings' recent success. He's been terrific. I mean, bringing that championship pedigree from Golden State, Brown went to the finals as the head coach in Cleveland and one of the best people in the league as well. Now, here's Fox. Pass to Wiles. The tray. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Knicks. Kicks it to Burks. Pass to McGrath. New York moving the ball around. Here's the pass to Hartenstein. Here's Vazenkov. Passes it to Lyles. Here is McGee. Here's Vazenkov. Pass to Mitchell. Five on the clock. McGee is screen on Burks. Here's Mitchell. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. The Kings trailing. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Shoots from the elbow. And Fox gets it to go. Fox has got 12 in the game. Well, so critical for Fox to get the attention of the defense in this way. He's got to make them fear him. Has to Hartenstein. Inside, here's Bogdanovich, and it's in there. And the Knicks lead by two. That is all timing right there. Just led him perfectly. Outside, Fox. From the top of the key, and he connects with the jumper. 
14 points for him. Tough matchup here, and Fox has it going right now. The lefty getting some room and making it happen. Burks, the pass to McBride. To the paint. Burks on the wing, covered by Lyons. Knocks down the three ball. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. The Kings trail by three. 26. 54 seconds left here in the first quarter. Three-pointer, Fox. It's rebounded by New York. A pass to McBride. Pass to Hart. McGee with the block. Mitchell against Burks. And it's Mitchell missing. New York leading by three. 20 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Hartenstein. Eight points for him. And here's Bogdanovich for three. And it's Vazenkov with the rebound. A pull-up. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. Jalen Brunson has been on display for the Knicks. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And looking at what we've seen from the Knicks so far, what do you guys think? In that first period, they showed a willingness to make the extra pass. Now, so much unselfish play out there. The coaching staff has to be thrilled with that. The Kings trail by three. On the court right now for the Kings, Sabonis is out there with Trey Lyons. And it's Mitchell, and it's Duarte in at the two. Now, here's Sabonis. Walk it is good. Sabonis has got six. The defense all up in Sabonis' face, but looked automatic. Pass to Achua. Back to Brunson. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Three-pointer. Brunson, no good. The Kings shooting at 52% from the field. They're clicking. RJ passes to Mitchell. Outside, Sabonis. Goes to the reverse layup and puts it in. Sabonis has got four points this quarter. Now this is where Sabonis can play tricks. He's got every move at his disposal. Outside, Bogdanovich. Back to Brunson. Another play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. The feed now to Robinson. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Brunson against Mitchell. Brunson no good. The Kings leading. Pass to Orte. Right side Sabonis. Pass to Vizenkov. Here's Torte. And the three off target. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. The Kings are still figuring everything out. De'Aaron and Fox said we're still learning each other. What we're doing offensively is great. We have to prove defensively, but that'll come with time and chemistry. DeMontis Sabonis added, it's just the beginning. The more we get a feel for each other, it's definitely going to get easier for us. Kevin? Yeah, a rising power. I think all of us on this broadcast agree with that. David, thank you. And the defense had to know that was coming. Bogdanovich wanting revenge and getting it just like that. And we have really watched Jalen Brunson come into his own, playing at a higher level. Well, it's unbelievable, Greg, that he just had that spark here in Dallas and that that has triggered what it is we get from Jalen Brunson on a nightly basis. Respected for his toughness, his offensive game is growing. Now, here's Mitchell. And the pass to Lyles. Good! 
ahead, and the assist goes to Mitchell. Miles got the lead up to two now for the Kings. He talked about a back and forth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring wise, keeping everybody on their toes. Here is Robinson. Now here's Brunson. Passes it to DiVincenzo. And the Knicks hit again from deep. DiVincenzo saying, I got that too. And it's Mitchell with the ball for Sacramento. Outside, Zabonis. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Poked away. Stolen by Robinson. Robinson with it. Now defended by Mitchell. Puts it up from 15. Sacramento grabs the miss. Sabonis has got his fifth rebound in this one. The drive by Mitchell. To the wing on the left. Here's Duarte. Defended by DiVincenzo. Another three for Sacramento. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. Kings have gone 5 of 7 from the field here in the second. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. To the right side. Six on the shot clock. The Kings need to get off a shot here. Shot's good by Lyle. And not the tightest D right there. And he's going to punish you if you give him that much space. That three-point shot is his bread and butter. Now here's Brunson. 11 points in the game. Ananobi finds Brunson. Ananobi is screen on Mitchell. Brunson against Mitchell. And a missed late. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Mitchell with it. Brunson covering. The drive by Mitchell. From deep. The shot no good by Duarte. Knicks trail by three. Here's Ananobi. And Ananobi slams it in. Oh, I dunk you very much. Uh, he, can, he can really fly in. You combine that, Craig, with some nice penetration, too. And you've got two points. Screen by Sabonis. Marte passes to Lyles. Pass to Sabonis. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Ananobi. New York's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, and nailed five of them. Brunson against Mitchell. Ananobi with the screen for Brunson. And there are the Knicks with another bucket. And that's where Brunson gets a lot of his baskets. He just drives in the mid-range. On the wing, Mitchell. Brunson covering. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Robinson. Brunson goes in. The shot's good. And it's a three-point Knicks lead. Something about Brunson on the drive. He's just so fiery with the ball. Nothing's going to get in his way. Brunson against Mitchell. Pass to Vizenkov. Here's Duarte. Sabonis' is screen on DiVincenzo. Just five on the clock. Duarte shot good. Now Brunson. He's got 15. He hits Robinson, top of the key. On the wing, DiVincenzo. And again, New York with the triple. And Brent is someone who's been around the game your entire life. What advice do you give young, aspiring players? Well, I think the biggest thing for me, Kevin, is to find the correct mentorship to where it is that you want to go. If you can find a player that's proven himself, that's about the right things, and you can get access to them, and trust me, they're more than willing to share their knowledge, go find a great mentor. Talk about guys, Brent, who can fill those gaps out on the floor. How about Trey Lyle? 
Trey just getting more and more comfortable at carving out that reliable role player. Not only is this guy smart, he's also fearless. He'll throw himself into the game. New York leading by three. McBride passes to Hartenstein. And Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. McGee, he's checked in for Sacramento. Number zero, JaVale McGee. Here's Hart. The pass to DiVincenzo. And here is Ananobi. Lock at six. Shot from 16. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Hartenstein's got the lead up to five now for the Knicks. And folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. And the shot is good. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Here's McBride following the basket by JaVale McGee. Hartenstein passes to Ananope. Cloak loose. New York needs to get off a shot. McBride's shot is off. He really suffocated him there, guys. Just excellent work. Fox against Ananobi. And a fast break now for New York. Passes it to McBride. JaVale McGee grabs the miss. The Kings trail by three. Fox kicks to McGee. Back to Fox. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. Becoming more confident and a little bit more poised in terms of how he scores is De'Aaron Fox. Pass to Hart. Now here's DiVincenzo. Ellis outside. Right side, Fox. Goes back up. Second chance shot. And he lays it up and in. Fox has got 18 points. Now De'Aaron Fox picking up the crumbs there on the inside, but gets his team a second effort. Here's McBride. Still without a basket. Hartenstein passes to Ananope. Here's McBride. Shot clock at six. Shoots over McGee. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. For New York, they have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And that one misses. Sacramento's gone four and seven on three-point shots in the second quarter. Barnes kicks to Fox. Two minutes. Two minutes. One fifty-seven left in the first half of the game, and it's good. That bucket takes him to nine for fourteen. Well, hard to get Fox off of his center of gravity. So low, so quick, and phenomenal at scoring when he gets hit. Here's McBride, covered by Barnes. Pass to Ananobi. And the pass to McBride. Here's Hartenstein, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second half. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it's seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Now here is McGee, and the slam dunk by McGee. Well, Fox does a great job of sizing up the defense and then finding a hole. So good at getting in there. New York's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Ananobi against Barnes. And the shot will not go from Ananobi. There's his third field goal, and now he's made half of his six shots. There's 49 seconds left in the first half of basketball. 
Ellis surveying the D. Dishes it to Fox. Barnes against Ananobi. Six on the shot clock. Fox dishes to Ellis. Nice work to get it inside and drop contact. Sacramento shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. In the last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws. So those are numbers you'll be happy with. And the first one drops. Jalen Brunson, he's checked in for New York. Lyles checked in for Sacramento. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And so it's Art who brings up the ball for the New York Knicks. Passes to Brunson. Fifteen seconds left here in the second. Back to Hart. The 18-footer is right on the mark. Hart's got five. This is the area Hart likes to shoot it. He doesn't take a ton of threes. It's not going to go for him. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Knicks lead by one. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to... I thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. We've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. It's been one outstanding game from De'Aaron Fox. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half. Just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half. I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. We've got Jalen Brunson. Hart is out there with Hartenstein. Then there's Dante DiVincenzo. And it's on an OB in at the small forward position. So that's who Tom Thibodeau starts the second half with. DiVincenzo can't hit it. He usually knocks those shots down with ease. Defense got very fortunate there as they gave him way too much room to get that one off. Sabonis finds Fox. Takes it inside. Uh, play control. Uh, we have De'Aaron Fox cleared for takeoff. New York trailing. Pass to Hartenstein. Brunson with it. Guarded by Fox. Fades away. Brunson no good. The defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. Fox against Brunson. Let's it go from 14. Fox no good. New York's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Pass to Hartenstein. Some nice passing by New York here. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Nice. That one stings there. Hurts so much more to turn the ball over, especially with how tight the game is. The Kings have gone 1 of 3 since starting the second half. Brunson against Fox. Sabonis sets the pick for Ellis. The pass to Sabonis. Murray outside. Misses the three. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail bite. Fox passes to Barnes. Wide open look here for Murray. Good, and it's Barnes picking up the assist. Six points for Keegan Murray. That's a pretty easy opportunity for a teammate, all courtesy of Harrison Barnes. Passes it to Brunson. Makes it off the glass. Brunson's got the game tied up here for the Knicks. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Sacramento's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Fox kicks to Ellis. Down low. And stolen by DiVincenzo. 
And a fast break now for New York. And Ananobi slams it in. And sometimes the simplest play is the best one. He Vincenzo made it. Sacramento's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Fox against Brunson. Ellis outside. Fox a screen on DiVincenzo. And here's Ellis from beyond the arc. Another three for Sacramento. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. There's a screen. On T, Brunson hits it from three-point range. Brunson's got 20. How about the response from Brunson? Nailing three of his own. We know they like having Brunson out there, Greg, a player they can run the entire offense through. No doubt. And he can be trusted on to take the keys and just run things effectively. He keeps mistakes to a minimum, and he's a solid creator for his teammates. Pass to Hartenstein. Hart with it. And he uses the glass on the lane. Now it's a four-point Knicks lead. Can't let someone like Hart get inside the D just asking to get burned. Fox looking it over. Going inside. Good. He's got 24. Now he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. You know, Jalen Brunson, for the NBA at least, is small in stature. But his tremendous footwork enables him to operate inside and out. He says, I've tried to make my game for what I had as versatile as possible. I've got to be crafty. I'm not jumping out of the gym. I'm not racing down the floor in two seconds. But I'm going to keep you off balance. Kevin? Oh, I love his game. David, I know you do as well. Hey, thank you. The Knicks have gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. And here's Brunson outside. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. Sabonis has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Brunson against Fox. Now here's Ellis. Tight defense on him. Five to shoot. Takes the 12-footer and hits. Ellis has got seven points. New York's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. Seven of 17. Brunson with it. He's got 20. Ananobi passes to Hartenstein. Back to Ananobi. Hart kicks to Brunson. New York, no good that time either. Sacramento's gone 2 of 5 with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. It's blocked. Now, here's Ananobi. He's got eight. Pass to Brunson. From past the arc. Good on the triple. Brunson's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Knicks. Not a big part of Brunson's game behind the line, but he can knock him down. Sabonis feeling it out a bit. Here's Barnes, and there's the drive. Good, and it's Sabonis with the assist that time. Sabonis has got four assists in the game. Now the pass to Hartenstein. Is it to Brunson? An easy two points on the layup. Brunson's got 25 points in the game. Oh, great move there from Jalen Brunson. Flashing. Up top, Sabonis. He kicks it to Barnes. Back to Sabonis. Three-pointer, Fox. On the wing, Barnes. Shoots over Ananobi. Barnes can't get it to go. 
And, and even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Fires from deep. Rebounded by Ellis. The Kings trail by three. Kicks it to Fox. Back to Ellis. Outside, Fox. Sacramento moving it around. To the inside, Barnes. And he banks in the layup. Barnes has got nine points. Now, Barnes can be hard to contain sometimes around the rim. He can create just enough space to be effective. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. So both teams making some changes here. Substitution on the court. Pass to McBride. And here is Hart. Pass to McBride. Just five to shoot. And there's the pass to Hart. McGee with the block, and he's able to get it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. For Sacramento, they've gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this point, going 7 of 14. Now, here's Fox. Defense is right there. He lobs up the alley pass, and the slam dunk by McGee. Great setup there by their setup man, and De'Aaron Fox. New York trailing. Outside Robinson. Pass to McBride. Robinson a screen on Ellis. McBride passes to Robinson. A free for DiVincenzo. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. Not letting the defense hold that shot back as Dante found a way to get it done. Fox dishes to Ellis. Pass to Lyles. Here's Fox. Here's the three. DiVincenzo with the rebound. Here's McBride. He's guarded by Ellis. McBride passes to DiVincenzo. Robinson a screen on Lyles. Here's Hart. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks able to retain possession here. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for the Knicks. Brooks comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. The Kings also with the sub. Mitchell's checked in. Six to shoot. Burks against Mitchell. And shot on the way. Burks' shot is good. Burks has got five. Oh, he had him spin, and he looks like he's dizzy after that crossover. And it's McGee hits off the key. 144 left in the third quarter of the game. McGee sets the pick for Mitchell. It's good from long range. Six points for him. They kind of like playing in the rec league. Little to no defense on that possession. And the easiest three-pointer you can imagine. McGee against Robinson. A three from Bogdanovich. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Robinson's got three assists now in this one. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for New York. Two guys, the D hasn't had an answer for the three-point shooting, which is why they continue to just fire away from deep. You want to talk about ball distribution? They've been dominating that aspect of the game. I think there's a bunch of bankers out there. They're dropping dime after dime. Catching up on the changes for New York. 
Achua comes in for Josh Hart. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Alec Burks. Here's Bogdanovich. Sacramento grabs the miss. Mitchell outside. Pass to Vizenkov. And Fox has it in the corner. Misses the wing jail. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. McBride's shot is off. The Kings trail by three. And really the smart thing would be to hold for the last shot. Every second right now is valuable to you. That should be their strategy. Now Fox. For the tie. Nailed from three-point land. Fox has got 28. Well, a prerequisite now is for NBA players to shoot the three. Fox really working on improving in that area. Jalen Brunson has been on display for New York. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we'll be back with you shortly. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard with the pass right on the money. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create freeing everybody up. And that cut was wide open. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter. What is still anybody's ball game on the court for Sacramento. Lyles out there with Sabonis. Then it's Jones. And it's Mitchell, and it's Duarte in at the small fold. And putting some muscle behind his play, Bogdanovich goes right through contact. Here's Jones. Mitchell outside. Sabonis' is screen on Brunson. Here's Mitchell. And there's a bonus. That's good on the assist by Mitchell. Mitchell's got three assists in the game. And so here is New York. And here's Brunson. The pass to Bogdanovich. Offline with his three. Brunson against Mitchell. He kicks to Jones. Passes it to Sabonis. Shot clock at five. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. And the Kings making a change here. Edwards has checked in. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Outside Bogdanovich. New York, no good that time either. Uh, he loved to make them pay for giving up that wide open jumper, just unable to do so. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Mitchell passes to Arte to take the lead. Good, and the assist goes to Mitchell. Mitchell's got four assists in the game. Cutting into that deficit now, well within striking distance. Yeah, just much sharper out there. You can see guys getting in tune. It's not about playing harder. Sometimes it's just about playing smarter. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich measuring off that floater so well. That's why he shoots with great confidence. And for Sacramento, their shooting has been outstanding in this game at 58%. Mitchell finds Edwards. Here's Duarte to the middle. Here's Sabonis. Robinson with the block. Hard to score when Robinson's down there being a factor. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And that quick thinking pays. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Knicks have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Bogdanovich 
Dishes to Burks. And Bogdanovich kicks to Brunson. Puts it up from 15. Sabonis grabs the board. Sabonis has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. R.J. passes to Mitchell. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Kings lead by two. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. It's going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. New York moving it around. Pass to Burks. And here is Achua, covered by Lyons. Drills the three-pointer. Boy, right down to the wire here. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry. For the, game. the Knicks making a switch here. McBride's checked in. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Hey, guys, Mike Brown had some advice for the team during the break. He said to his guys, we need to push the pace more. Come on, guys, we're at our best when we're attacking in transition. Energy up now. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. New York's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. With the teardrop stolen by Ellis. Mitchell against Brunson. Mitchell outside. Miles a screen on Brunson. Pass to Wiles. This one for three. Sinks the three-pointer. The defenders need to recognize the importance of staying on him as we get into crunch time. Mitchell against Brunson. Here's Achua. The dunk by Achua. Amazing just how trusted Brunson is with the basketball. Here's Mitchell. Here's the pass to Sabonis. Here's Vazenkov. Passes it to Sabonis. Bank shot. No good. The Knicks have gone 4 of 7 for the field since the beginning of the fourth. Inside. But don't play a two This guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward. And he needs to be as an undersized player. Brunson against Mitchell. Pass to Vizenkov. Down to five on the shot clock. He's looking for Mitchell and finds him. The baseline J off the mark. For New York, they've gone five of eight shooting as they've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Here's Brunson, and again, it's New York. And aren't we here with Brunson? This is what we expect from him, crafty and efficient. The Kings trail by four. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. They're in a rhythm offensively, really cooking. And the opposition looks helpless to stop them right now. And he converts the layup. Brunson's got the lead up to six now for the Knicks. Brunson, one of those players that's just not going to be denied, determined to convert inside. And he does. Up top, Sabonis. Kicks to Ellis. It's all for run. Good, and it's Sabonis with the assist that time. That's 10 points for Ellis. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Has to want an open. Back to Brunson. Brunson draws the double. Bounce pass for Mananobi. Lock at six. Hart, wide open. He fires. And again, New York with the triple. Hart just whipping it away quickly, not giving the defender time to close out. Fox against Brunson. Fox, no good. New York leading by six. Brunson finds Hart. Mitchell against DiVincenzo. They set the pick. And here's Brunson outside. 
And again, New York with the triple. Brunson just knows how to manufacture points. Right now being assertive. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the King. There's the dish to Fox. Launches it. Cracks in the tray. Fox has got 11 in the second half. Well, I love the fire right here that Fox is playing with. You sink three, he's looking to come back and get you. Brunson against Fox. Elbow shot is on the way. And there's another one for the Knicks. Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in bunches. And there's the pass to Sabonis. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for Mitchell. King substitution, number 40, Harrison Barnes. the wing Barnes he's guarded by Ananobi Ananobi against Barnes the shot no good good D by Ananobi New York leading by eight Brunson draws the double Hart with it passes it to Brunson and it's out of bounds they say it was last touched by Brunson. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. The Kings trail by eight. Outside, Sabonis. Back from outside. Knicks with the rebound. Hartenstein's got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeding. In the pass to Ananobi. Doubled by Murray. Ananobi kicks to Brunson. And the wide open shot from Di Vincenzo. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. And the shooting numbers just keep going up and up for Dante. At the top of the key, Sabonis. He dishes it to Barnes. And it's Isaiah Hartenstein with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second team foul. Barnes looking around. And the layup's good off the glass. Using every bit of muscle he's got on that one. What can I say? Harrison Barnes likes to get in and attack. Pass to Hartenstein. Pass to on and open. Here's Hartenstein. Five on the clock. Some nice passing by New York here. Out to Brunson. And again, New York with the triple. On a roll now. He is on fire. The Kings trail by 12. Now, here's Fox. The pass to Murray. Left side, Zabonis. On the money with the shot from the left block. If Murray can keep his passing up, he'll be a force in this league. The Knicks leading by 10. There's 154 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Brunson against Fox. Steps back. Here's Hartenstein. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Goodness. The tomahawk one-hand slam. Oh, shows you how much strength he has. against Brunson. Sabonis is screen on Brunson. Good on the three-point shot. Fox has got 34. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Brunson has a two-pointer, and DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. Sabonis is... 
Barnes outside. Sabonis sets the pick for Barnes. The wide open look here for Fox. Another three for Sacramento. Uh, De'Aaron Fox stepping up for the team, showing he's capable in these moments. Fifty-five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Hartenstein, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to go on Sabonis. Yeah, easy call. Isaiah Hartenstein at the line. And he ends up missing both free throws. This is a do-or-die possession. They have got to get points. And you can't make any mistakes right here if you want to keep hope alive. Their execution has to be precise. Outside for Murray. Offensive rebound. And staying with the play, Sabonis. Now just a four-point Knicks lead. And that's the reason why Sabonis gets the rock. He's just pumping the end. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Second team foul. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. And the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. They're behind by six. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Score, then hope for some missed free throws or a turnover at the other end. Yeah, this, this won't be easy, so a, a little bit of luck will go a long way for them to get back in. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth. And they go to the intentional foul. Second place, no foul. 13. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. DiVincenzo, a great competitor. He's going to step to the line and compete with the moment here. Timeout called by the Kings. They're trailing by five. 27 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Fox. It counts. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Uh, pretty much all you can do on defense there. De'Aaron Fox. Great poise in the painted area. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. And you know what? Smart foul. You've got to try to extend the game. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Can't waste any time here. Well, it's probably a little bit too late here, but you really need to score a bucket here to stay alive. And so they foul intentionally. Second foul, no foul. Fifteen foul. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. So crucial for Hart to get to the line, establish some confidence. He's solid from there. I think it sometimes gets his perimeter game going. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. Ooh, I think that's a wrap. And I can tell you, you can't have more pressure-packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game. And that's an intentional foul. He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Well, if you're a basketball player, through your entire basketball life, you're going to hear coaches harp on you about free throws. It seems like Brunson has heard those messages loud and clear. And here's Barnes for three. Laces one from three. So it's New York picking up the win. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans. But in the end, everyone satisfied. Well, I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on. But let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to it this in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And that'll do it, folks. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Shalen Brunson.